Hello ladies and gentlemen, yet another time. Um, while I'm waiting for my things in Minecraft to, like, I'm, I'm preparing the next episode and I'm waiting for, like, the mana to distribute again and I'm waiting for the power to balance out. So uh, power over here um, was getting low and I increased the timer thing. So we are on power again. Uh, let me get in inside real quick. So I'm F AFKing basically on my little server. Um, so this is quite the premiere, I'd, I'd say. Um, so in the recent episode, episode 11, I chose the polarizer over the signal for the basics um, of my cobble works. So, and I figured maybe I'd do a video um, where I explain the mathematics behind my decision. So let me do something like this and like this. That should be okay. So um, this one goes away. So this one we will call the pulverizer and this one will be the signal. Like this. Very good. So um, both those will get in ore. Um, so we put in ore like that, and there will be an output like grinded stuff. Grinded stuff. Like this. Um, okay, so what the pulverizer does is. For the most operations, it will use um, 3,200 RF per operation, and the signal will use 2,400 RF per operation. So by default, if you look for um, a really cheap RF um, grinding thing, the signal is definitely better on the surface. Uh, in our case, um, what we wanted is we put in cobblestone. Cobblestone gets uh, goes in there, um, and we want to get sand out. Sand and like um, the, the 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 most important thing is gravel. Um, oh yeah, that's the one uh, wrong thing. That's gravel. So um, we want to get out gravel, and we put want to put in cobble. Um, the signal will always produce sand that, um, in both cases, we get sand. Um, e either the pulverizer or the signal, they both produce 100% of the time, produce one sand. The pulverizer has a 15% chance um, for gravel. So when we, we when we process the cobblestone, we will get 15% of the time we will get gravel. The sag mill um, uses less energy but has a lower chance, so it has 10% chance of getting gravel. Now, I wanted to calculate the energy most energy efficient way of getting gravel. So I don't care for the amount of cobblestone I have to throw in there. It's basically for free. As you have seen, um, or maybe have seen in the episode, um, with our Ignis Extruder, we just produce cobblestone until we don't have anywhere to put it, and yeah, that's it. So the most energy efficient way isn't that um, easy to that easy to figure out because if we use the pulverizer, we use more energy, but we have a higher chance. And if we had the sagmo, we use less energy, but at a lesser chance. So we have to figure out a way to uh, like calculate the amount of gravel produced per energy uh, pool. So I, I wanted to have a pool like, um, let me just, this is my RF pool. Um, this is my RF pool. And I want to, to convert this RF pool into gravel by using um, any of these two machines. And I, I have infinite cobble. So 
basically the machine uses this this pool of RF. Um, we put in cobblestone, we get our gravel, and we want to calculate the amount of gravel we get per pool. So if we lose the whole pool, we get any amount of gravel, any integer, positive integer amount. Um, so the first step you want to do if you want to calculate something like this is you take the two um, numbers of energy, the pulverizer and the signals, and you want to, to calculate the least common multiple. Um, so in this case, I used 32 and 24. And there are some calculators on the internet. Um, I will, or you can it by um, deriving it by prime factors or something. Um, you need a way to calculate this least common multiple. Um, so the least common multiple um, of 32 and 24 uh, is, let me just rearrange that a bit. Uh, let's use that one, is uh, 69. So if we, uh, the, the thing is with the least common multiple, um, we will always get a integer, positive integer amount of operations. So in this case, the sag mill with a pool of 60, uh, 96,000 RF, you always have to, to like use the thousand or um, 9,600 at that. Um, 9,600 is like, let me calculate that real quick in my head. Um, four, four times? Yes, four times. So four times 24 is 96. So the sag mill will operate four times at this energy amount. The RF one will operate three times. So the signal will do one more operation uh, and the light, uh, as the pulverizer. So the pool I used for calculating was one uh, 196,000 uh, 196, RF. This is my pool of energy. So this is like 20 times the least common multiple. I think, yes, times 10. So we have uh, 96,000 and then times two, yeah. So 196,000, that's completely random. I just took um, one, you just um, multiply the least common multiple with any positive integer to get a pool of RF where those two get a whole operation, uh, uh, an amount of whole operations out of. So the pulverizer, with this much energy, we'll do it like, let me get my calculator real quick. We have this amount and we divide it by 3,200 and we get, what is that? That's not correct. Did I mistype something? No, I didn't. What's wrong? Is it 90? It is. 96 times 2. Whoops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Derp. Um, this is the one we were looking for. So, a uh, little derp up by me. So, this equals with this uh, energy pool, we get. What's the number? 60? Yeah. 60 operations. Uh, let me type. 60 operations out of this energy pool. With the signal, we get 80 operations. I know that by heart. But we will check in a second. Uh, we don't need P, which is unfortunate, of course, but a yeah, 80. So if you then, um, basically you get, of, the, of this RF pool, you get 60 operations, 80 operations. So statistically, if we have a 10% chance of getting gravel, um, out of 80 operations, we will get as output, let me put it in my fancy pen, we get eight gravel. That's pretty easy to calculate. So 10% of 80 is eight. Um, on the other hand, out of 60 operations, uh, let me get that. 
we need to calculate with 15%. Uh, so uh, let me get my uh, calculator again. So 60 times 1.15, so 15%, it's nine. So based on that, um, nine gravel. So based on this calculation, um, without any augments or something, just the basic pulverizer, the basic segmill, and any amount of RF. There's always, um, it's more energy efficient to use the pulverizer than to use the segmill. Um, if you look at like 96, so three operations, three operations and 15% chance, um, three operations, uh, sorry, three operations times, Come on, reset times. We get 0.45 um, uh, gravel, and with four operations and 10%, we get 0.4. So there's always a difference in in chance. Statistically, of course, if you happen to have luck with the segment, you will get more gravel. But in the long run, you will always get more gravel out of the pulverizer for the same amount of energy as you would get in the signal. So I hope you liked my little um, calculation tutorial um, and how I did the math on the pulverizer and the signal. Um, later on it gets a bit more complicated because the augments add chance and in the signal especially the, the, the flint and dark steel ball you put in will also decrease the amount of energy you use so maybe i will do another calculation based on on the numbers if i manage to get them correctly um but for now i stick to the pulverizer i like the pulverizer a bit more especially because there are three three upgrades you can apply plus the speed upgrades so later on the pulverizer will be quicker than the segmal when they're when like energy efficiency isn't a, the, uh, a problem anyway so and i'm not entirely sure if 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 the pulverizer even is is more energy efficient later down the line maybe i do a calculation on the highest tier so if the sag when the segmal uses the dark steel ball what is that the energy is reduced by 30 percent i think and it has a 20 percent chance of getting gravel i'm not sure about the numbers and the same with the pulverizer. Um, I think the pulverizer will be better because uh, the pulverizer has a, like the latest, the, the last tier upgrade will increase the chance by 81%. Just, at, just adding it to this number, I guess. I'm, I'm not entirely, entirely sure um, how that works, but like this Agmo will then have like 170 something RF, if I, guessed that correctly something about that and a 20 percent chance and the pulverizer uses like twice the amount but has like the four times the the chance of getting gravel so in the long run again the the energy per gravel will be lower or gravel per energy uh, so to speak um so yeah i hope you enjoyed it um i hope you liked the episode this is for as well and i will see you all around